Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very serious but 2018-ing Asteroid Fight Club meeting. And you know, the thing about bringing people, the truth is, they want to get so distracted by their own political narrative and agenda that sometimes the bigger stories slip right by them. So where a lot of people tended to tune out because Anderson Cooper stood in a ditch, or this guy leaned a little bit too in... I saw an uptick of conservatives calling Hurricane Florence fake news and overhyped by the media. Though, you know, they don't really get swayed by evidence or numbers at times, whereas this hurricane won't even exit until Thursday. And so we've seen over 30 inches of rain reported in some areas, and the flooding and river levels is pretty catastrophic. Like, we got dams that could be breaking in North Carolina in the very near future, along with levees. 19 people have died, and that tally is not done with. So I got to prepare you. What I'm about to show you now may not be able for you to handle. I'm not a fear monger, because if I wanted to be a fear monger, damn, I would show you the GFS on October 3rd that shows a giant hurricane hitting about the same area. Right? Nope, that is not in the title. And we're not going to worry about that until the GFS prints it twice, which could be happening here in the next hour. What we are talking about is when our good friend at Thor News, Ryan in North Carolina, who is a conservative, that has said, yeah, this thing is real and it's unbelievable and it's scary and it's just mind-blowing in the amount of devastation it's brought. He also tweeted earlier, reminding that Brunswick nuclear power plant near Wilmington, North Carolina, has declared a state of emergency with an unusual event occurring. So we've had a nuclear power plant declare a state of emergency with an unusual event occurring. This story was brought to me a few minutes earlier by Tronic Tam Aldo. North Carolina power plant declares unusual event following storm. Hot shutdown. Now let's click on over that article. And I mentioned that, yeah, we got a lot of power plants in danger, man. So... It's what people get along political lines. We may have our own Fukushima on our hands. So I don't know, man. However you vote this November and even in 2020, it ain't really going to affect if we have a Fukushima on our hands right now. So we all need to come together and set aside our stupid-ass political differences and figure out how to work together as a team. That is my opinion, and my opinions are good. Is that IntelliHub? North Carolina nuclear power plant declares unusual event following storm. A hot shutdown. The Brunswick nuclear plant's two reactors went into a hot shutdown following an unusual event last Saturday. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is being tight-lipped about an unusual event which occurred at Brunswick nuclear power plant last Saturday with a forced hot shutdown of both the plant's Generation 4 type reactors. The NRC classified the emergency as an unusual event but provided little to no details on the situation. Additionally, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission reports that the weather conditions from the Tropical Storm Florence are currently preventing workers from accessing the plant. And I've done my weather video poll because I'm working on an edited video, and they hope that this storm will be cleared out of North Carolina by today, and hopefully people will be able to get in and assess details by tomorrow. Yeah, this is real, dude. This is a real situation. I didn't make a bunch of videos on it for nothing. A hazardous event has resulted in on-site conditions sufficient to prohibit the plant staff from accessing the site via personal vehicles due to flooding of local roads. So, we have an unusual event and a hot shutdown of two reactors at a place that saw some pretty nasty flooding. It seems like a real situation to me. You put nuclear in front of the word, and the truth community will get on it, so that is good news. Current reactor mode is showing a hot shutdown and more rain is on the way. River waters in the area are expected to rise as much as 20 feet in the coming days. Not to mention local dams in the area may be to capacity. We will provide updates as we get them. Please comment and share below. That Tronic time. Thank you, Tronic. And thank you, IntelliHub. Be sure and check out the article. And you can keep on the, on the discussion here. <clears throat> but remember, our meeting never really talked about Fukushima. And... Suspicious observers had tweets earlier talking about the effects of the radiation on food and uh, cancer 
cases in Japan. Yeah, because sometimes governments would rather cover stuff up and just not talk about it as opposed to tackling the truth head on. So we're not going to be scared of this thing ever, even if it comes to fruition, but we are going to be prepared because I want to remind people, like I've been saying all year, the nor the Northeast got hit by four Nor'easters in a month. So seeing it get hit by multiple hurricanes is not outside of the question this year. So we still got two months left of hurricane season, bro. Maybe more. So yeah, don't let your girl down about anything. And now is the time for all people to come together. And if you're a dipshit and don't agree with that, go ahead and down thumbs this video. Man, you know what? It hurts my soul every time somebody down thumbs it. Yeah, just kidding. Okay, well, I love you guys. I'm sorry I have to bring you this bad information, but as your planetary defense commander, it is my job. And, yep, this is a serious situation. And it's only going to get more serious. But please keep a sense of humor. Don't let the bastards get you down. And I want you to stay cool. God bless everyone. Talk to you soon. Now, you may hit the button.